session we come to yet an interesting video by simply learn in this session we will look into the working of parity check which is a network method used to check errors in the data at the receiver side but before we begin if you love watching tech videos subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to miss an update from us now without further ado let's take a look at the agenda for today's session to begin with, we will look into what is parity bit check. Moving on with key points regarding the parity check and continuing with explained example on the same. Now let's continue with the first heading that is what is parity bit check. The parity bit is a data check bit added to the original data for detecting errors at the receiver side by checking the integrity of the received data. The parity bit adds 1 or 0 to the original data that is to be transmitted to the receiver side. And if in case there is an error in the received data, the sender side will do the parity check and give the request for retransmission of the data. Now, Let's move on to the key points regarding parity bit check. To properly understand the working of parity bit check, we need to understand some key points, where the first one is redundant bits. They are the extra binary bits that are added explicitly to the original data to prevent the damage to the transmitted data or to detect the damage to the transmitted data. They are also used to recover the original data in case of a damage at the receiver end. The number of redundant bits added depends upon the type of check method used. Regarding which, in this example, there are 4 data bits used, whereas 3 redundant bits. It can also be 2 redundant bits or 1 redundant bit. In case of parity check method, only one redundant bit is added to the original data. Now let's move on to the next key point that is parity bits. The parity bit check method is a method to add binary bits to secure the original data. That is done by counting the total number of ones in the original data which is either even or odd in number. The parity bit check method is used to detect error in the original data at the receiver side and also in some cases it is used to correct the change. There are two types of parity bits available to choose from. The first one is odd parity bit. In this parity bit check, the number of ones in the original data including the parity bit should be odd in number. For example, in the given example, the number of green tiles has four ones that is even so the parity bit should be one in this case to make the total number of ones in the data five that is odd similarly the other parity bit is known as even parity bit in this case of parity type the total number of ones counted is to be even including the parity bit for example the number of ones in green tiles is four that is even. So, the value of parity bit should be 0 in this case. The point to be noted is the parity bit value should always be correct because it acts as the error detection method at the receiver side. Now, let's move on to the explained example to consolidate all the things we have learned so far. The question is for the given data bit that is 110111 apply the even parity bit check for data transmission. Now let's begin. For the first step, let's take the original data that is 110111 and the parity bit value is to be given as p. Now according to the next step, we have to count the number of ones in the original data which will come out to be 5 bits. That means there are 5 ones in the original data which represents an odd number. To balance this according to even parity bit, now we have to add 1 in place of p 
So the new data to be transmitted will become 110, 111 and 1, which will be transmitted to the receiver side by the sender side. After the data has reached the receiver side, there are a few cases that may arise in the data, where case 1 is the data bit received to transmission has no errors, that is the data received is correct after applying the parity bit check which in this case is even. So the transmitted data is this and the received data is this. That means both the transmitted data and received data are same. That means the received data is correct. Then the second case arises is the data bit received to transmission has errors. That is the data received is damaged after applying the even parity check, which in this case the transmitted data is and the received data has an 0 instead of 1, which means the number of 1s in this case becomes 5, which does not match with the even parity check. So it has an error. And the last case, case 3, in this the data bit received through transmission has errors, that is, the data received is correct according to the even parity bit because the transmitted data has 6 ones whereas the received data has 4 ones but according to even parity check only the number of ones should be even that means the number of ones received by the receiver side is 4 so according to parity bit check it is valid but according to the original data the received data is wrong these are the three main cases that may arise during a transmission of data through parity check method. With this, we have completed all the headings regarding parity bit check. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.